You know, I love how Bernard Pullman and his supporters try and make out he's some kind of great thinker. You know, you get an image like this, a sort of thing that uh, is reminiscent of the Illuminati, of course, even though the symbol wasn't actually Illuminati anyway, but that's a different story. And they put the quote, of course, the Bernard Pullman quote, as this grand guru. Ooh. The equal money system will give order to a new world. Yeah. Because Bernard Pullman wants a new world order. He wants money to be equal around the world. And the problem is, who's going to force it to be equal? Who's going to keep it equal? There will be those who seek power. There will be those who desire a bit more. Will Bernard Pullman, if he attained any such power, whether on a national or global scale, create his own little order, his own inner group, ruling the rest with what is best for all? Sounds like he wants to create his own Illuminati. The only problem is, Bernard Pullman is a former policeman, a person who's dabbled with certain elements of the occult, supposedly dabbled with psychic readings and abilities, and he was not born into, or came into, any form of great wealth or influence in the world. He's simply a dreamer who wants to create a better world. He doesn't call it communism, although the idea of equal money and a centralised party in charge of the world sounds a lot like communism. He's an interesting character, R. Bernard. A very interesting character. And I suppose, if I'm entirely honest, he doesn't really want to have a new world order. He just wants to say he wants a better world and people will donate towards his cause, ensuring that he can live well while doing very little. 